Hey coach, so excited you found us on YouTube. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like. Second thing is make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. We we have one-on-one -on -one calls, community, it's resources, it's everything that it will take to become a better basketball coach. Less time, win more games. Let me help you do that from someone that's been a nationally ranked coach and done it for 30 plus years. Go over and check it out, teachhoops.com. Let's head off to the video. All right, so we're going to the second series of my Ben series, Blob series. This is a variation of the same exact play. Um, it's a different um, from the previous video. It's just uh, from a different view. You're going to notice that um, it's, I flipped the court here just to sh it's easier to show the action here using it this way. Um, the one is going to inbound the ball. Two is going to look like he's going to make that misdirection, okay, and, and cut to the corner. But really now he's setting himself up to set a back screen for the five, okay. As that's happening, as that two is coming across the court here, to look like he's going to the corner, he's going to come up and set that screen for the five man, and then you'll see the action what occurs afterwards. As this two is moving, the four is setting a screen coming towards the three like a brush screen, and the three is making an Iverson cut for a three pointer. Okay, again, you could make it a variation where you could for younger players, you could have this player not necessarily Iverson cut, and you could change the angle of the screen where you could get into the short corner. Um, completely up to you. You can uh, obviously the the action is kind of up to you how you want to do it based on what age level you're playing with um, and using um, the skill set that you have. So after that occurs, and all you're really doing then at that point is basically replicating the similar action. So um, you have the four after he or she screens is diving towards the ball. And then the five is getting that back screen. Um, and so what a lot of the time will be is that I think if you really want success in this play is that five is going to be almost coming hard and they're going to forget about it. And this four can maybe take its time a little bit to flash the basket. Um, and so that's the, the attention to detail when you're working on your set plays, um, out of bounds, baseline out of bounds plays is what, what are you noticing is effective? And, you know, and again, each age level, um, each team is going to be effective based on the skill sets that you have, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, uh, if you have a really good shooter, this is going to really create ample space for four and five to cut through. Um, and so. Um, this is just like the counter to bend one that I shared uh, in a previous uh, YouTube video that I created. All right, enjoy. Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like before you leave. And also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's got everything and a roadmap for you to become a better basketball coach. So go over and check it out. And let's head back to the next video, wherever that would be.